Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zafar Khan. You are watching ZK Multitech. In this video, I will show you Dexel XR70CX sensor calibration. How to do sensor calibration? Sensor calibration, we have two sensors normally. As you can see, I connect two sensors. One for cabinet sensor, one for evaporator sensor. Cabinet sensor will show you temperature, internal temperature, your freezer, chiller, cold room. And second sensor, observe operator temperature we are using for defrost termination how to do sensor calibration for sensor calibration you need to enter to programming how to enter to programming set key and down arrow key press together long press hy this is differential we'll talk about this one and next video this video we have to discuss calibration ot ot is sensor calibration what is sensor calibration? For example, your cabinet temperature and display temperature is different. So then you can add some value to the sensor. How you can add? I will show you. Again, down arrow key and set key. Enter to programming. We need to go to OT. OT is sensor calibration and Dexel. Press set. See, this is now normal, 0, 0. For example, your cabinet temperature and display temperature are different. You need to add or you need to minus some value. For example, I add 1 degree. You select 1 and then press set. So 1 degree I added. 1 degree value I added to probe 1. Probe 1 for cabinet sensor as I told you and probe 2 for evaporator sensor. This is how you can do sensor calibration. You can see now the temperature is 19.4. You will see, I will remove again, I will bring it to zero and then you will see the difference. Down arrow key, down arrow and set key together. This is set point, down arrow key and set key together. Long press. This is programming, OT and sensor calibration, one. So I will bring it to zero. You will see the difference. I select it. To go back, up arrow key and set key, you will go to the display. You can see before it was 19.4 something and now 18.6. This how you can add value to the sensor. Probe 1. Probe 1 for cabinet temperature and probe 2 for evaporator temperature. This how you can do sensor calibration. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel. You will get electrical air conditioning and refrigeration video from this channel.